Here we go again, folks. Uh, this article posted on CNN two days ago by Eugene Scott basically reiterates what myself and many other brothers and sisters have been saying for the longest now, which is that the issue of police brutality in this country, first and foremost, is a race issue. And to say anything otherwise, it's not it's untrue it's factually untrue when you look at the stats it's uh and it does nothing but harm us in the long run because what you're doing is you're allowing racists to say oh no you see look what this black relative loved one of that murdered um, black man or woman just said she just said it's not a race issue now a lot of black people have had issues with the garner family I'm going to show you why. We've had issues with them. And first and foremost, let me let me say this. My thoughts, love and condolences goes to those families, the families, um, those black families that have had loved ones brutally murdered by racist cave demons. Right. Racist race soldiers. Who never were put to justice. But. As a people, we've got to stop kowtowing to the white establishment. And basically, because what we're doing when we say it's not a race issue, we're allowing them to continue doing what they do. We're allowing them to, to, to make excuses. We're allowing them to deflect. We're allowing them to continue with these, these lies and propaganda. Now, I'm gonna show you the video and I'm gonna show you what just came out recently. Here's the original video by the daughter of Erica, by Eric Gardner, Erica Gardner. This is not a black and white issue. This is a national crisis. Like, I believe that this is a crisis. I mean, for white people to come out and show, show how deeply they was hurt, and like Asians and, you know, different people from different nations and different parts of the world to come out, and show that they felt the same way I felt on that video, I greatly appreciate it. It's like a sense of I'm not the only one that feels this way. You said this is not a black and white issue, but do you, in that, do you say you saying Look, even Don Lemon is surprised, man. Don Lemon, the coon of all coons thing there. I mean, the picture of the, 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 the political white establishment in the United States. This guy doesn't throw any hard balls, any, not just when it comes to race, but politics in general. And he, he has to, you know, he has a double take. He's like, it's not a, a black and white issue. What? This is not an issue of race. I'm sure you think it's a racial issue. I, I, I really doubt it. It was about the officer's pride. It was about my See, I've had enough, man. Six, four, the officer's pride. Account, the officer's evil. You come know, on, Erica. Come on, sis. Because he just big. I mean, my father wasn't even doing anything. I'm done. I mean All right. Now, this is what happens. This is what happens when you and once again I have to say all condolences to this family. But this is what happens when you go on air cuz I guarantee that in person in real life she's not saying this. But when you get on air you start being afraid of these white folks and what they're going to say. They're going to say something regardless. They're going to tarnish your reputation regardless or try. They're going to drag your reputation, your family's reputation and bring up pictures of, of humans doing human things regardless. We got to stop being afraid, man. So anyway, that's the original video. Now, as the article says, Erica Gardner's daughter blasts Clinton campaign after WikiLeaks emails. Well, what's on the emails? Let's see. Well, here's uh, let me give you some background first. This on the CNN article. Eric Eric Garner died in 2014 after a police officer used a chokehold while attempting to arrest him for allegedly selling cigarettes illegally. A grand jury decided not to indict New York City police officer Daniel Pantaleo in the death, and the case is being reviewed by the Justice Department, according to reports. Yeah, a lot will come from that. I know we have Erica Gardner issues. This is by, uh, oh, it says it. 
Erica Gardner issues, but we don't want to mention Eric at all. I can see her coming after us for leaving him out of the piece. Clinton's traveling press secretary, Nick Merrill, wrote in an email. The conversation about possibly considering mentioning Garner in an editorial about gun violence became public in private emails illegally hacked by WikiLeaks. The Clinton campaign has not commented on or verified the authenticity of the emails. Now, let me say this before I get into this this whole Clinton thing or this 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 email issue. For all you racists out there and dumbass coons who 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 come on our our YouTube. Uh, on our YouTube channels and videos talking about, well, you're against Trump and you're supporting Clinton who called black people super predators. No, dumbass. I'm against both of them. I'm not voting for either because one's a, a bigot, a sexist, lying, xenophobic, just a bad dude, a scummy dude. And the other is a corrupt, <laughs> just, just, just the utter the utter picture of corruption and the establishment and she's going to do worse for this country than Barack Obama did and you know I know a lot of black people out there have issues when you know they get mad when black people call out Obama Obama did some good things especially for the economy but black people are still struggling and he's done next to nothing for us so don't come on our channels talking about we support Hillary Clinton this isn't a a, a uh, a dichotomy this isn't a you know a one versus the other thing at all i don't know any brothers in the ldbc and youtube you know channels that i that i'm subscribed to and i and i check in on and i and i watch that support hillary clinton none not a single one now this just goes to show that hillary clinton and her staff do not care about black people man at all now, Erica Garner goes on to say later on, these people will co-opt anything to push their agenda. Of course they will. Of course they will. Now, Clinton staffer Maya Harris wrote that Garner should not be included as he was not killed by gun violence. Erica Garner goes on to say, I'm glad you had Maya on your team to explain why you won't be using my dad in your fucking gun violence piece. Black women saved your ass. Yeah, a lot of them did. A lot of them did. And a lot of them are still voting for Hillary Clinton. And I can show them this information and they're still going to vote for Hillary Clinton. So I'm not calling you sisters out, but a lot of y'all have to step up. A lot of us brothers have to step up in other venues. And there's a lot of brothers out there. Not a lot, but there are some still voting for Hillary Clinton now. But when it comes to voting for, when it comes to the issue of Hillary Clinton, a lot of our sisters are still brainwashed by Hillary Clinton and what she'll supposedly do for our country. But they can't believe this, can they? They can't, can they? So I don't know why you're surprised, sis. I don't know why you're surprised, Miss Garner, because we've been saying for the longest that Hillary Clinton isn't for our people. We provide in facts, we provide in video footage of her calling us super predators, predators. And now these emails are showing once again, her and her staff's feelings. So in conclusion, black, black people, black sisters and brothers, we, we, we gotta, number one, we gotta stop kowtowing to these races. What we say in real life, if you are saying that, you got to come on, you got to come to their territory and speak the truth too. You can't be afraid to do that, right? And number two, we got to get out of this, all of us, you know, the uh, uh, our men and women, we got to we gotta get off, get off this Hillary Clinton thing. A lot of us are in the truth in regards to that, but a lot more can be done. And I hope this, this serves as a message and a, uh, a lesson for the, the poor people you know, families that have gone through this, man. I, you know, I've lost cousins to gun violence, but I, thankfully, I haven't lost any loved ones to to police, you know, police brutality and and, and police murder. You know, uh, these race soldiers, man. This is a sad story. I wish I didn't have to do it. This general Africa, I'm out.